Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here uh, in somewhere a little bit different this episode because um, last episode we ended off up here by the Tower of Sirith Ungol and uh, basically I did a stream uh, in between last episode and this episode and in that stream I did some epic battles so we have some nice new gear to show off which I will show you in a minute uh, but basically my armor got pretty much completely wrecked uh, so what I decided to do was I uh, came over to here got this campsite so now this campsite will bring us back to here always and uh, I went back to Bree briefly and repaired my gear so uh, currently this is our gear setup as you can see the same as it's always been uh, I'm gonna go into the stuff we have in a minute but before that we do have our Hobbit gift of the day so we're gonna have a look at that quickly and we're gonna get 620 marks once again I think that we got the same last time so we should be at like 26k now 27k okay fair enough um, but yeah I did Two epic battles on this character and one on my main uh, in that stream and I got three new items out of it and one of them is really really good uh, mainly because of the stuff we have right now isn't very good so here we have what we have so three different items as I said we have a bracelet here a vet uh, veterans vanguard dexterous bracelet which we've decided uh, is going to swap out for the other old uh, Vanguard's a dexterous bracelet just because I don't want to lose that fate um, and it's the same agility and vitality anyway but I don't want to lose the 321 fate so the plan is uh, looking at our stuff 45,927 we're going to take that we're going to chuck it on there so we've got a new one of those this uh, earring is going to be swapped out for the gleaming earring of the great shore because I mean look at that increase 349 agility to 848 363 vitality to 909 we do lose some fate no sorry we we gain fate sorry i'm messing things up again um but yeah we gain 242 fate as well we pretty much tri almost triple our vitality we double our agility easily um and then we get some ma max power from it we do lose the max morale from the actual earring but uh the vitality definitely makes up for it we found so we're putting that on as well we are now at 47,877 and this necklace which is the biggest thing out of all of them because our necklace is our lowest level item equip at the moment uh, so it is level 95 from before we were over level 95 and did the epic battles um, a skilled deck dexterous skilled vanguard's dexterous necklace we're basically doubling our agility almost doubling our vitality we're over doubling our fate we're getting double the vi uh, the max morale we are massively increasing our stuff there so with that on we are nearly at 50,000 morale uh, I'm obviously gonna just sell this stuff because it still gets a little bit of money from it which is good but that is what we have from there now I also uh, obviously you notice my experience has not changed I'm still at 1 million three uh, three thousand nine hundred thirteen I also bought this uh, stone of the tortoise I thought it was more expensive than it actually was uh, it was only a hundred uh, lotro points so right now we have that pocket I'm on that we have the master's engineers dexterous token annoyingly whilst we are epic battling we cannot wear that we have to wear the stone of the tortoise but that means we get no experience from kills and quest completions which you don't get uh, xp from kills anyway during an epic battle but you do get a massive amount from actual uh, completion i did one on my uh main it does scale to you so i did a level 113 epic battle for us a 116 for my main um basically you know it gave me about 419,000. XP, so two and a half of those is pretty much, you know, us leveled up at that point. So I also had to work out how I get out of here. I actually got here by falling down the, the hill, so I actually don't know how to get out. So that's going to be an interesting one. But, um, but yeah, we need to, in fact, actually genuinely, how do I get out of here? <laughs> do I have to go around? Maybe I can use this. Okay, that's, that's a little better. Okay, that's... A little awkward we're gonna have to find our proper way out of that but we'll actually make our way now uh, so we need to put our quests back on because we are kind of just completely out of it Lingris should be no it's not where are we black book that's where we are black book of Mordor uh, we have two quests today that we are gonna get done uh, so well I say that we have yeah two quests uh, the Guzil and 
Then we also have after that um, the Fate of the Stone Maiden, which is going to be a quest after this. So we'll take this one off our tracker because otherwise, you know, it gets a bit everywhere. We've got to go over to here, which I think should be all right. We should be safe. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to obviously uh, head over places. Oh, yeah, that's the point. I did discover one location. I discovered this while I was on my way down. Um, I don't think it's going to be. No, sorry. It was actually. Yeah, I technically discovered bro both. They're both the same name. Um, and I guess that one as well. But I don't think it actually matters too much. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. Uh, we were going to go down there anyway, so not a huge deal. Centuries later, when at last Lord Sauron came to me. Okay, so more webbed ones. So I was right in the last episode where I said there's probably a few actually in the area, like around outside that instance. Or, yeah, yeah, instance, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we need to be looking out for those. We can get them. I mean, they're not amazing. We get some steed experience. We do get... Uh, uh, reputation which is good we get some signet rings we also get this but I'm not sure what it does for us we get a uh, decoration item I guess and also this which is worth allegiance points which is good when we get to that point um, or at least I think I don't know if 5,000 is a lot I honestly haven't done I haven't got to the allegiance bit yet because part of me was like just saying I shouldn't do it because if I don't do it, then it's going to be brand new and it's going to be better for me going through it. Um, as I tend to find uh, when I don't know stuff, like when I'm doing like the early stuff and I'm like, oh yeah, I know this, that and the other. It's fine. But like later stuff, it's a bit more interesting, a bit more story driven. And also like all the stuff we did in like Stoke and stuff like that in like Rohan and Gondor and stuff. I didn't do any of that on my main. So... I, you know, I didn't have the expansions and stuff. So it's kind of, it was kind of nice to go through and you got this just new, new stuff. Right, hello. A sound of Razor's voice, a uh, sound of Ray's voices come through within Fashhaum Bal. I'm going to dismount before it messes me up. And we're going to get rid of this quest because it's quite a large quest. The mountain of fire has changed since last I was here. Well, when... I was going to say, when were you last here? <laughs> uh, okay, so we do actually have a quest for a drake over here. I'm not going to go out of my way to particularly attack some drakes right now, but um, if we have to, then it's probably going to be like kill eight of them. This is... Have we got that? No, we should probably get that today. That is a stable master, uh, which is definitely worth investing into. Uh, because... I would like to travel further. Because, <laughs> I mean, if I can get that statement, this guy is really strong. Like, 86,000. Like, we are genuinely taking a beating here. I genuinely died. <laughs> wow. Wow. Like, I didn't expect that. I mean, okay, it's a little bit of a shortcut to get here. That's totally what I expected to do. Wow, that I didn't actually expect. Uh, especially with me being like, hey, I've just got new gear. Wow. And that's just a scout. So if anything, that's like the lowest, <laughs> lowest uh, person that's going to be there. Right, let's try that again. Um, is that where we actually need to go? Uh, I actually don't know. That's, that's not really got a thing to it. Around Fashan Bal. In, okay, so just generally around it looks like. Okay, we're going to have to like... I thought 88,000 was a lot, but I thought it was going to be like... You know, because these guys have like 87,000, but we were fine with some of these guys. But I think... I thought, like, it would be a case of, you know, one of those enemies that has a lot of morale but doesn't do that much damage, but... Yeah. I mean, the, the problem is also this uh, Shadow of Mordor stuff. We're at currently 7, so we have plus 70% incoming damage, so it might be worth 
although it's a decrease, just getting some of this um, Light of Arendelle gear on that I have. I wonder if I can look up, no, light. Like some of this stuff. Uh, anything here? No. I think I've been, I've not even deconstructed a lot of it, have I? There's some gauges. Overall, we're going to have less stats, but if I can get just generally less death, <laughs> I think it'll be good. So that chucks us up to like 28 Light of Arendelle. So it's only going to be tier 5 now. So we actually like... And it's not like I can just use fate and stuff. I, not fate, I mean, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, hope, that's it. I can't just use like hope stuff. Kind of awkward. Right, that definitely new, like puts us of the idea that we need to definitely, like we've just lost a bunch of morale from that. But should we try that again? I'm going to do some focus first. I'm going to set a trap. I mean, it's going to be different because... Yes, we got less. Like, we had 70% incoming damage. Problem is he's a scout, so he's just going to shoot at us. So we just need to rapid fire him, I think. Like, the other guys that are just regular enemies, they're going to be fine because they're going to run towards us and we can slow them and they're not going to shoot us. Yeah, it looks like we will be able to defeat him now. We're going to have to really look into that actually okay what did we just get a new title has been bestowed to you now known as an enmity of the fashion bell south and north how do i how did i complete them you just attack an enemy okay yeah new deed and it's straight up straight completed And then, yeah, we these have now... So we've gained rep. Oh, that's, I really don't want to be gaining rep from these guys. I've gained rep. Also, these guys have a lot less health, so we should be fine. I'm gaining rep, which is annoyingly using up my bonus. Can I... Is there any way I can pause that? No, I don't think I can. That's really awkward. I don't want it to be using up my bonus uh, rep at all. Yeah, see, these guys will be fine. It's just that one guy... The scout. Yeah, so that gives me 16 rep and then minus 8 rep to the north. Uh, guys, not really too fussed about rep right now. You can actually, technically with the uh, with the double bonus XP, uh, bonus rep, you can actually level it out if you're very careful about it. You kill two of one enemy of the north. And you kill one of the south. And then it should level out. This guy's got 70k. Because I don't know rep-wise what's going on. Like, I'm only going to be slightly above friend. Like, neutral, rather. For the south. Um, and I'm going to be enemy now to the north. So I don't know what that's going to change. If anything. There we are. Shoot a bow behind you. Yeah, if I can get away with not attacking big groups, and if I can not attack some archers, because archers are an archer's worst enemy. Because the good thing about, like, melee enemies, I've got barbed arrow, I can slow them down, they basically can't touch me um, if I just run backwards. I'll be fine. But... As soon as someone's got a bow, they can shoot me with their bow. These guys are giving quite a lot of XP as well. 5k, it's quite nice. Luckily, we only just kill 8 enemies, so... Oh, there's a chest that isn't actually a chest. I think because everything in Mordor is its own, like, different chest. The one with the crafting supplies in it. I don't think there are any wooden chests sort of thing in it. There we are. Cool. Okay. Yeah, 6,000 XP. 
Very nice. Right, there's two enemies there. I definitely don't want to attack them. Ideally, I want to pick off an individual. Really don't want to start a corroded small chest. Yeah, those are what those chests are. I wonder if I can get around, kill that warrior. If I can get close to him enough. Yeah, he just threatens to attack me. That's very weird. Maybe because I'm... I don't know. No, he's north. So north I am enemy to. Which means... I don't know. Though so looking at it, that font looks very weird. It's like too big. It's like stretched out almost. Okay. Anybody spawning back yet? You find a scorched apartment clutching in the hand of the... Oh, okay, so I don't even need... It's another quest where I only have to kill, you know, three enemies instead of seven. Oh, and I'm getting some lag. So let's go read this thing whilst I'm lagging. Come on. Um, the Gashai listen to one vo uh, single voice as ever. That voice commands them to assemble at Nargoth. Uh, their orders are to march to the gate behind Uridani of all the uh, Guriziel... She is the only one who, whom the single voice permits them to listen. The stone maiden will set the pace of the march. There is no need for haste. The single voice speaks and they will listen. Next lines are written in a different hand. It's not a hasty scroll. Found this apartment in the hand of a dead orc. Don't know what it means, but it sounds like treachery to me. Well, definitely does. I want to go around. I don't want to have to deal with that guy again. And also I can go straight up to you. I'm going to put on my actual gear now. If it lets me. I think those are the only bits I wore. Oh. Uh, these. I think everything else is the same. I don't know what this is. Socketed. Okay, I don't know. Um, yeah, Light of Arendil is becoming a bigger thing now. Because when we're here, we're getting like plus 70% incoming damage. And we're ha like half of the incoming healing and outgoing damage is minus 30%. What did you find? Not good. So find the road that leads to Nargroth on the eastern side. It's not very well. I mean, it'll be it'll be right here, but it's very weird having like the map is so dark that you actually can't really see anything. Like I, it's I can't see a red thing. Oh, actually, I can. It's right there. That's really far away though. Um. Okay, because, I mean, that is my thing. My campsite. I mean, that is the last stable master we need to get to. This is the, uh, I thought it was the Angmar in ra uh, Ranger thing for some reason, but I think that's because I'm in Angmar on the legendary server. Agonath Ranger Camp. So, uh, with that will be our last, or at least I think the last stable master in this direct area. Um, that's Moria. Uh, where are we? Yeah, it is actually the last in Mordor, so at this point we will technically be able to travel anywhere in Mordor, within reason, uh, with Stable Masters. But I'm just gonna have to, um, yeah, just travel for a bit. So, instead of making you have to deal with all that, what I will do is, uh, just travel there now. One thing I thought actually recently or as of literally just this moment, is now that I've got the XP disabler thing, when I've got times like this where I'm traveling and I don't want to, you know, potentially increase my XP off of camera, I can always just put that on for the small amount of time that I'm doing this. So that I, even if I kill something, I only get their drop. I don't get their uh, XP. Might be worth it. Anyway, I'm going to uh, stop recording for the moment. And I'll see you when we're over here and then pick up that Stable Master, which doesn't seem to be showing up for some reason. It's right there, but it doesn't show up on here. Interesting. Right, so we're coming up on where this quest ring should take us. Here we are. And... Nope, nothing's going to happen. Okay, we're going to go further up. <laughs> I need to go up further anyway because I need to get to the Stable Master. That is the minimum plan for the moment because if I die, I want to be able to swift travel back here. Uh, I ain't walking all that way again. And then we can deal with all that in a little bit. But um, yeah, definitely want to get the Stable Master because uh, traveling 
so far is really, really, really boring. Especially when you get dismounted a lot and you got to make sure you don't die because, yeah, I got shot off quite a lot that time. So, looks like it'll probably be down here for this. Here we are, a stable master. So all we needed is the stable master, so that is everywhere in Mordor done. There's a bloodstained page which will start another quest. So, that's slowly, that's going to be literally our last possible quest. So I'm not going to accept that right now. I am definitely going to have to go through a bunch of my stuff here and get rid of them. Like, these I can probably do now. I might do some of these on like a, uh, a stream, like do uh, volume two, book nine, because I'm not going to get experience from them now. Or I can just put the experience disabler on them and then easily not going to get experience from them. And it just clears out our inventory a little bit. And it's not like I'm particularly going to get much useful stuff. I'm going to get some medallions, an item that's pretty much just useless to us now, um, in, yeah, completely pales in, in comparison, but this one, uh, if I can run these at 65 at 113, and I have 113 gear, it's going to be very easy. And I can just do a bunch of the background stuff on the stream because it is something I do want to get back into. Um, so, and schedules clearing up a little bit mean it might be a little bit possible. So, definitely don't want to be running into this thing. Is that actual lava? Am I going to die if I touch that? I might do. So let's be careful, shall we? I think this is where I'm going. It seems to be where someone else is. You feel a presence regard from the... What's attacking me? Talk to the spirit of the stone. Attack this thing. Because... Why not? You're not the spirit of the stone. I thought it said Golodir. I wouldn't be. Well, I was about to say I wouldn't be surprised, but people will probably have that name. <laughs> or it might not actually allow you to have that game. It'll be interesting to see. Okay, find the scorched skull in a cell within the prison of Neoband using the information in your quest journal. Where is that? It's all the way over there. That's like. A lot of travel, man. I can go there, but I don't know how to get out of there. That's a lot of travel. <laughs> um, I kind of want to see if I can just... Can I stand on this? Sort of. It's going to do a lot of damage to me. But I wanted to see if I could beeline for it. But, oh god. I'm going to uh, get out of here. If I can, just get these guys to stop attacking me. Yeah, so it looks like those are allies of these things. So these don't actually aggro you, but they get, like send things after you. So we're going to have to travel back over there then. That's a bit awkward. I might pick up that campsite because that's a bit more central and also possibly a little bit easier to work in. Interestingly, cannot use our regular steeds for some reason. I think it's because we're actually in battle. That would actually make sense. Uh, so once again, I have to just pause for a moment. Today's going to be a long episode, I think. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's head over to here. And I'm hoping we can, you know, it's very, very simple. don't want it to be an hour episode to do one quest. We literally have, we're on one quest. I don't know if we'll do the other quest today. We might actually leave that for next episode if it takes massively a long time. But I will uh, quickly head over. I'll see you in a second. And uh, hopefully everything works out in our favor. Okay, so this is kind of the point of no return here. Uh, we definitely have to do some battling, so I thought it's best to start recording again. Uh, we have a singed page here, interestingly. That means there are bloods, blood pages and singed. Uh, interestingly. Uh, I actually could have probably gotten away without killing anyone because I can just jump over there and I'm gonna kill the patroller because I just had a bridge. Uh, just that bridge there was a pain because I had two enemies at the front. Ran past them, that was fine. I actually got dismounted. But then I also had this uh, very annoying uh, patroller. So, you know, we also need to kill them for things. But as I mentioned before, it seems that, you know, they really love their heritage runes for some reason for these deeds so we're not too fussed about completing them that quickly because 
I'm not really too fussed about heritage runes. I can quite easily get a lot of legendary XP if I wanted to uh, quite quickly in about 10 minutes. But um, yeah, I, I don't know why that's suddenly a thing. But um, to each their own, I guess. They can do what they like. But uh, yeah, I've always said it's really weird it, from my point of view because legendary items don't really pay a huge part, it seems. Like the regular... Like, 115 stuff is a lot better than most, if all, uh, if not all, the legendary items I've seen. Unless you probably go, like, first stage and really perfectly spec it. Alright. So, it's in a cell somewhere around here. It's quite deep in, so it looks like we're probably actually going to have to go into the actual place. Oh, of course, you actually attack me. 87,000, and I've got 80% incoming damage. Let's swap out our gear again. I can't do it in combat, can I? I'm not dying again to this. I can back out to the bridge. You know, enemies aren't going to attack me there. I definitely am going to have to switch out to my uh, Light of Arundel armor. I think that's going to be the case soon, is I'm going to... Definitely as soon as I hit 115, uh, if not a little bit before, I'm just going to have to... Because Madam Hunter's armor isn't the best armor. It's not like the be-all end-all best ever. Uh, so the armor that's... We can probably get some pretty decent armor that's going to have Light and Verandil in it. And it's just going to help us out. Um, otherwise we're going to have a real tough time. I shouldn't really attack him during then. I think he was just regenning everything I hit him for. Right. Let us quickly just put on what we can of Erendil stuff. 28, yeah. It's the best we've got for the moment, because I can't really see anything else. I think we had a cloak, but I think I got rid of it. Because I went, oh, you know, it's not that great, and we, you know, we can survive the Light of Erendil, or the Shadow of Mordor pretty well. But no. Apparently not. And, of course, the moment I put armor on, it's a straight dash. Almost. Got to deal with these two guys. Or at least one. I think I might only have to deal with one of these guys, but they have 100,000 XP. Morale, rather. Always makes the two up. And they can damage me even from a bit of range, but I think I can deal with it. If I'm very careful about who's on the map, I can do wider circles. And then I've got to go in there. The good thing is, if I... The moment I get the skull or whatever, I'm going to assume I have to take it back. If that is the case, I can swift travel there. So that's good. Right now, to see if we can get through here without the camera messing up and without aggroing him. Wee. And two more. <laughs> With the same morale. Can I go round? There is no way to go round, but... Now, this is a very big idea. I can dash straight forward for that. I can go on my horse and I can dash straight forward for that, get through that door. And we are safe. Bye, guys. And honestly, I'm not hugely fussed about the uh, pages at the moment. I feel like that's something we can do a lot later. Let's see this. Oh, I'm worried about this. There's berserkers all around. Gonna try and limit the amount of enemies I kill. But I've very quickly gone to being on level now rather than being over leveled. I was killing at 108, you know, 107, having some enemies that wouldn't even aggro me. Now here I am. Oh, no. On any damage, negate 100% damage and gain 1,000 morale. The problem is, auto attack is a thing.
And it doesn't matter the damage, they always gain the same amount of morale back. I wish I had that. That'd be fun. But yeah, for the moment I'm not worried about the pages too much. We can always come back at a later point. Right, you have 91k. I'm definitely going to have to be very careful. You've only got 44, so I can kill both of you. Hopefully. With ease. Hopefully. Because overall, I'm sacrificing like... Was about 6k morale now, but I am gaining a lot of like this back, so I'm not taking as much damage. Uh, though I think in here it doesn't matter. I actually say, uh, what does it say? You witness the Nairban containing three large chambers connected by hallways and subdivided by walls and iron bars. The skull is on the, f is on the floor of a cell in the southwestern corner of the lot. Southwestern corner of the largest northernmost chamber. So north is this way. Half open, you saw flame spirits floating around the fog covered floor. So north chamber. Oh, actually, there's four chambers in there. Uh, what is it? So north. Northernmost. So both are northernmost. I guess they might be the same place. And was it the first floor? Southwestern corner. Okay. So south western corner of the north. So north. Northmost thing, southwestern corner. So we want to go here. Really laggy in that map for some reason. It cuts like my frames in half. So now we're in the south corner. We don't want to be in the south thing. We want to be in the northmost. So we have to go that way. Oh, this episode's going to be a long one <laughs> at this rate. It's been so long that legitimately I can now use a Desperate Flight again. Though I have lowered Desperate Flight with the thing, so it is only a half an hour thing. I'd be more worried if it was still the hour cooldown. Let's see, I can... See, so you're fine. Okay, you're a captain. I don't care about you that Well, I, I do care about you, I'm sorry, but... Um, I don't have to kill you, which is the plan. And now I just have to make sure that guy doesn't come back, because he's got 90,000. Morale. I can deal with these guys that are under like 50k. Anybody under 70k, I think I'm alright with. But then, if I multiply it, it becomes worse, obviously. Yeah, this map is so big, it literally cuts my frames in half. You're 35k. I can probably get without killing you, though. Southwestern corner of the northmost chamber. Half open go door. I could probably like delete to find it. Probably could have gotten away without killing you as well, but this guy's coming, so I want to sneak into a corner so he can't kill me, and then I'm just going to read up on where we are. I wonder if it's different for everyone. The southmost corner. He's only got 30k, but if we can just be a bit sneaky, I'd prefer that. And I know now we're going back on ourselves, so I don't want to do that. Well, maybe I do. Maybe it is like almost like a maze where you've got a. I can jump down. You guys only have 35k, so I should be alright. But if I didn't actually mean to do that, 
I'll be honest. Didn't actually mean to do that. But I think that might be what we need to do. You just showed up out of nowhere, and I think that's unfair. That is very unfair of you. I'm very upset. Right. The singed page, which we are not fussed about. So there's a lower down area as well. Oh, come on, make your mind up. Okay, so it seems that we need to go even further. I hope I'm right, like, reading this right, because I feel like I'm reading it completely wrong. This looks promising. This looks promising. This does look... Very promising. That looks less promising. Right. Uh, three large chambers connected by hallways and subdivided by walls and iron bars. The skull is on the floor of a cell in the southwestern corner of the largest northernmost chamber. I don't know if I'm gonna if I get close, if it's like one of those items that like you can't pick up till you see it. Like you have to get close to it. Hmm. I'm very lost. Could be this one. Nope, that's not where I want to go. Let's just check though. No, definitely not. No, oh, of course. Oh, and you are one like the one enemy I didn't want to attack. I guess it gives me a little bit more freedom, but still not what I'm after. So I think he's only like 30k. Yeah, man. I feel like at this rate, I'm gonna have to start looking it up in a minute. Because I'm gonna be here forever soon. I am reading it right, yeah? Scar is on the floor of the cell in the southwestern corner. Yeah. So this side. Of the largest northernmost chamber. I think I'm gonna have to look it up in a minute. Just to save our sanity. Alright, see if I can get a, hopefully a rough understanding at least of where it is. Okay, so I've got a map and I'm still confused. I think I know where I am, but we're going to have to quickly check some stuff out. So, this uh, over here... Oh no, actually, sorry, there should be a stairway somewhere around here. If I find the stairs, I think I know where I am. If not, I'm still lost completely uh, and utterly, and I think I just got myself stuck. No, I didn't. So there's the leader. So there should be stairs 
here. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know where I am uh, now. So we actually have to go like really far down, I think. I'm pretty sure. I think it's actually, we're actually quite close, all things considered. But we need to go down the stairs, I think, that were over here. So we were actually kind of close. The stair. Oh, this is weird. No, sorry. This it is this way. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. But we were down here already, and I'm very. I want to find that page. I think that page is the actually the re like the answer to all our problems. that's gonna kill us. I bet you that's gonna kill us. Hmm. Okay. No, I'm... I'm actually wrong. I know where that is now. We have to go... Oh, I had to kill you anyway. You're gonna be a pain otherwise. See, this is the thing. Even looking it up, I don't know where it is, so... <laughs> I'm having real troubles. But also, I kind of feel like we... The reason we might be having a bit of trouble is the way we did it. We jumped down. Which might lend us to not know where everything is. Uh, so... There we are. I was looking for a stairway down. And there it is. And there's someone around here, so they're probably helping me. So this is a door. Uh, there's a page somewhere close. But more importantly, the skull should be... It's actually... Yeah, so there's the page. There should be a cell here. And we should be southwestern. So southwestern should be down here. So down here, half open. This person's doing the same quest as us. Oh, finally. I was expecting a bigger skull. Malice emanates from the skull, scorched by heat, and it is neither splintered nor cracked. With that, though, let us... Uh, I'm going to use Desperate Flight again. See where it takes us. If it takes us somewhere awkward, we'll uh, get the Stable Master. Okay, well, it took us somewhat awkward, but not awkward at the same time, because it's quite far away from where we need to go to, but it's near a Stable Master. So with that Stable Master, we can go and travel to the place we need to go to, and then come, come. see what this next quest wants us to do. Uh, this one. Yeah, so we're here. There's two bloodstain pages, apparently. Didn't know that was a thing. Uh, only really saw the one when I first came over here, so it's not a huge deal, though. Let us travel this way. And then, as I said, we'll have to just quickly see what the next uh, part of this quest is. Hopefully... This is kind of the last big bit of this quest, and then we can do something very simple for the next quest. I'm hoping it's already been a very long episode already, so... But that's kind of just how it is with these Mordor quests at the moment. Seems like we're not getting a lot done, but... Like, literally, it's taken us how long to do one quest? Definitely over 30 minutes. Hey, this person's here. They're quicker. Okay, so they disappeared. Which makes me think they've either logged out, or they've gone to an instance. Hoping the latter. Okay. So we're given a little bit of... I'm being attacked by something. You scare me. What did you see? You recount the terrible images in Hartholin glares the watching stone with disgust. It's a fell spirit fell and cruel and these can be no mistake. Am I thinking that you have paid its price? What 
to Zaharog know that is of use to us. You paid Zaharog's price, and now he owes you information concerning the Gurizel. What does he know that can be of use to us? So that seems like a very instancy setup. It is. Let's do it quickly. And that will be it for the day. So we look very ethereal at the moment, which is kind of cool. Uh, and we have the Urudani Stone Maiden. She's a woman of Numenor, possessed by cold beauty. The uh, image that floats before your eyes are hazy and indistinct, but even so, her beauty is tainted by the cruel expression she wears and the malice in her eyes. Well, you're never going to be cold. Let's just say that. Tremors are nothing compared to my displeasure. Do they fear the shaking of the mountain, or do they fear the Urudani Stone Maiden? Both. I will remind them not to cross one of Lord Sauron's Gurizil. I still can't say that word. It's going to be something down here. Oh, no. I'm I was kind of just... Okay, there is going to be something. I'd expected for a moment a... Uh, <laughs> a Balrog. Okay. What's up? The uh, Boragnos of Horror. Boragnos. Boragnos the, horror. the whispering is really freaky. <laughs> Uh, in appearance, the creature seems similar to the Ramiel that you've encountered, but the terrible majesty and order of magnitude greater than those others. Even in the hazy dreamscape conjured by Zagorog, uh, Zagorog the great Rugmul is a terrifying presence. This is going to end well for you. Yep, totally. As I thought. Interesting. Can we get that chest? <laughs> Sorry guys, I know you I know you got this thing going, but I just want to click this chest quickly. I want free items. It's fine. 217 silver. I'll take it. The op the orc that appears before you is now different than those of the Urdani, but you've seen this kind before. Here's one of the Gash High. What has Boranos uh Borangos done to the orcs of this place? They are menacing. He is also a lot more menacing. Like, incredibly more than you, I think. This is the domain of Sauron. None rule here without his leave. Shouldn't be obvious, she burnt. He is our lord, giver of gifts and ruler of all. His, he rewards those who swear fealty to him. You cannot take this fortress, but it might be given. Well, he's done a pretty good job at taking it already.
wants to speak with Sauron. Feel a presence behind you. What? What is it? Why is my map weird? Wait. Let's have some hopscotch or something. Whoa. Hello. Hello, humanoid thing. A burning apparition. Let's see what this burning apparition is after. The stone maiden returned. Changed. Okay, the woman is composed entirely of fire, being a burning flame. She stares past you, sightless, and hear the word. The voice of Zarog in your mind. She remained a return change. The images become faint. Uh, Zagarog will soon release his hold of you and you will, must be content with what he has shown you. I'm not content. <laughs> what did he show to you? Uh, you recount the tale and the fa uh, fate of this snow maiden as told you. Uh, when you finished, she at last mirthlessly. I thought this expedition was supposed to answer our questions, not raise more of them. We've learned of the Guzil only for one player to enter the field. The situation of Golgoth grows more complex by the day. Still, we will unravel these tangled threads. This is what we do, is it not? So we do that. Then uh, we'll quickly, I guess, head back to... Uh... Well, actually, we can go get the Stable Master from here up to the black gate, uh, or close to the back gate at least, very quickly, finish that off for the day. I'm hoping... Okay, no it won't. We've got uh, 400,000, well 410,000 XP to go, we're gonna get 215 from this roughly, so next episode should be us getting to level 114, which is quite a nice uh, milestone for us, very very good for us to get to. But we just need to quickly outrun this thing and uh, go to the Stable Master and get done with all this. Do you mind not? Thank you. So, quick old run up there. Let's uh, head to, well, where we need to go to. And then uh, we'll be done for this episode, which has taken far, far too long. We're nearly like an hour in to this one, well... We've technically done three quests now, but we basically spent an hour doing one quest, which is, uh, yeah, it's a long, long quest. And we're actually seeing quite a few more people. When I started the stream up last time, there was someone at the tower as well. So it's very interesting, kind of cool yeah, seeing more people. Let's go to the foothold. And then from here, straight out to talk to Mithrandir and see where we carry on from here. So that should put us on chapter 4 I'm thinking because we did 3.1 is this quest, 3.2 and 3.3 the last two, well f last four quests. So it's kind of weird. I was going to say partially why don't they just put uh, all those quests as one quest uh, or two quests like have the two as one but I'm up for more experience. It's fine. <laughs> I'll take the 300k or four, no, 430k that we're going to get. Right, and then, yeah, so next episode, pretty much as long as we complete one quest, I think we have then uh, leveled to 114, which is pretty damn cool. Your adventures in Thingris and Talath Urui raise further questions. That's what I said. Some file work is being conducted in Argonite. Okay, so we need to talk to Aeols in 3.4. So we need to gain entrance to Argonite from the north or the south. I'm sure that has uh, something to do with our reputation we have with those guys. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for now then. Uh, going to possibly, as I did mention, do some of these, these quests just to get them over with. Uh, not really going to gain anything massive from them. We can even put on the uh, the XP thing when we complete them. Only when we well, actually, the enemies shouldn't attack us. Uh, enemies shouldn't attack us. We shouldn't get an XP from them, but we can put it on anyway, and then we can uh, make sure it's on for the um, quest completion as well. Just to thin out the thing a little bit, I need to complete this as well. Definitely, um, I don't really want to wait till we're doing Moria deeding to do all that. 
and just get some of these completed. Now, it will help us out technically with the deeding episodes later on, but I'm not really too fussed about that. I just think I'd rather do this than, uh, like, complete them than just chuck them away, because at least we can get, you know, help us out later on. But for now, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.